Uh, hi, good day and uh, welcome to my channel. In this tutorial video, we'll be looking at um, uh, two state least square estimation techniques in EVs. Okay, uh, two state least square basically is an extension of the ordinary least square. Now, one of the important assumptions of the ordinary least square is that uh, all independent variables are uncorrelated with the error term. I mean, there should be no correlation between the independent variable and the error term. Now, where such as where correlation is, is between the independent variable and the error term, we have endogeneity problem. Endogeneity problem and two stage least square addresses this problem with the use of instrumental variable. Instrumental variable. Uh, by you no know, with this analysis, this analysis we're going to be we're going to compare OLS results and uh, two state least square result to see you know if we have any any difference between uh, the two estimation result okay uh, before we proceed before we start estimation please just take a second to click on the subscribe button down below thank you now this data here uh, we we, we add some now let's look at uh, let's say we want to look at the effect of uh, monetary policy on stock market performance okay and uh, here we have the ASI or share index. Mm. Let's let's use that to prove the stock market performance. We have money supply and then we have the treasury bill rate. Normally we expect uh, money supply to positively affect ASI or share index, uh, stock market performance, and then we expect treasury bill rate to negatively uh, affect the uh, share index because when treasury bill is red, people might prefer to put their money in treasury bill than the than uh, in stock. Okay, so we expect a negative relationship between the two variables. Okay, let's estimate the ordinary least square first and see what we have. Okay, just click on the. Okay, that's it. Just come to quick and uh, and estimate the equation. Yeah, okay, let's say we take a ESI dependent variable, proxy stock market performance. Then M2 and uh, TBR. Okay, let's say uh, let's let's transform this log of ASI and then um, log of uh, on supply. Okay, click on OK. You see what we have? This is our result. This is our result. So let's just name this um, mm, OLS. OLS and then press OK. Then we have our OLS result here. Okay, we can consider this and then come back to quick, quick estimate equation. Now we are going for two state least square. Uh, let's say we have log of ASI, and then we have our uh, log of money supply, and then we have treasury bill rate. So you come to the drop down menu here. Okay, you see two state list square, you click on it. And then uh, you have your instrument. Instrument. Usually we use a uh, uh, lacks of dependent variable, let's say, to uh, serve as an instrument variable. Now, what two, two state list square does is that it looks for uh, a variable that is correlated with the explanatory variable, but not correlated with the error term. Okay. Correlated with the explanatory variable. Okay, independent variable, but not correlated with the error term. So, if we are, we are taking TBR, log of TBR, the instrument, let's say we take uh, D to second log, and then let's say uh, money supply into log as our instrument. So, if we take log of our uh, treasury bill rates first and second log, and then we take log of money supply as our instrument. Okay click on okay you have your result okay this is a two stage result two state least square results okay now let's compare this result with the result we have in our OLS result OLS okay now look at this two result ordinarily you would expect that um, money supply be uh, I'm on, uh, be positively correlated with all share index. Okay, it should affect all share index positively. Good. 
But we expect that there should be a negative relationship between the treasury bill rate and the oil share index. But if you look at the result we have from the OLS, you would realize that the result gives us a positive relationship between the treasury bill rate and oil share index. But if you come to uh, this two-state list square, you realize that we got a result that's uh, conformed so with our, our prior expectation. We expect treasury bill rate to uh, negatively affect stock market performance, although its result shows that uh, it is rather insignificant. But uh, we realize that we got you know the sign. The, the sign matches the the a priori expectation. So basically, what two state least square does is like it's uh, it's it's correct endogeneity in the model with the use of our uh, instrument variable. Endogeneity in the model occur when uh, the independent variables, you know, the explanatory variables, when they are correlated with the error of them. Okay, and uh, if the, when that occur, then ordinary least square produces a uh, a spurious result. Okay, a biased result. It becomes unreliable. Okay, and then two step least square was developed to take care of that problem and that is by accounting for by 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 using instrumental variable you know to rectify this endogeneity problem in the model so the instrument the variables are variable that are necessarily correlated with the um, explanatory variable but they are not correlated with the um, the error thing okay uh, please if you enjoyed this video just look below and click on the subscribe button and encourage this channel thank you